Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use AI to better understand your macros. We're going to add formatting, we're going to add comments, we are even going to get AI to explain every single line of this macro so that we can understand what's going on and even teach ourselves how to use VBA. These three tips are going to be great for anyone who uses macros in Excel, especially if you got this macro from a coworker and they forgot to add formatting or comments or explain anything at all. Or maybe you made this macro ages ago and you just kind of forgot what's going on. AI is really going to help a lot here. The macro we will use is the send email invoice PDF. If you've watched my previous tutorials or you've taken my full Excel VBA course beginner to expert level, then you know exactly what is going on. But even for you guys, this will be quite helpful because with AI, we will take this macro here and go here with full comments. That's the first thing that we're going to do. And it really makes your code so much easier to go through. So if you work with VBA or macros, I think you'll find this tutorial quite helpful. And if you want to learn more about VBA macros and how to automate your spreadsheets and save yourself a lot of time, definitely check out our full Excel VBA course on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video. Now uh, let's go ahead and start with tip one. All right, this is our code. And just as a refresher, this is the invoice. So we have our invoice, we can add items to it. And when we click send invoice, it'll turn that invoice into a PDF, attach it to an email and fill everything out for you. So all you have to do is click send. But now let's go back to the code, Alt F11 to get to the VBA window. And we want to open up the module. So the original code is here in original. And what we're going to do is simply select all of this code. Then we go to AI. I'm going to use chat GPT 4.0, but there are many other great models you can use out there. And the most important thing here is really our prompt. So the first thing that I want to do is to make the code easier to read and understand. Let's add some formatting. Let's add some comments. First, tell it what it is. You are an expert in VBA and macros for Excel. Below, I'm going to include the VBA code and I need help with it. Now, what do I want you to do? Make the following code easier to read. Include detailed comments in the code that explain what is happening. Then I say code in bold, colon, and the full macro. So that's where you paste in the macro that we just copied. And I included everything, including option explicit. And I will include this and the following two prompts for free on teachexcel.com. So where you go to download the files for the tutorials, that's where these prompts will be. You can download them from there as well. And there's a link to that page below this video. So give it a look and uh, let's run it. All right. After a few moments, here we go. Your improved and fully commented version of the VBA code formatted for clarity, and it includes detailed comments so you or others can easily understand what each part is doing. Look at this. We have spacing, easier to read, and down here, a summary of improvements. What did it do? Formatting, detailed comments, a logical grouping. All right, let's copy this. Go over to the module. I just cleared this out, paste it in, and there we go. Look at that. In just a moment, we go from this to this. This macro exports the active worksheet as a PDF invoice, then creates an Outlook email with that PDF attached. And for each section of code, we have a little explanation. And if you wanted, you could tell it to make much more thorough and detailed comments. You could say, break the sections up like this. You could say at the very top, I want you to include two sentences that explain exactly what this macro does, who made the macro, when you did this, when you did that, the name of your company. You could have it do a lot. If you took our full VBA course, we talk a lot about how to add professional comments towards the end of that. And it's really, really helpful for you, especially in the future when you want to come back to your code. And we actually now have two macros with the same name. So let's put an underscore here, maybe one. That way we won't have issues when we try to run the macros. 
Now let's move on to the second prompt. This here is nice. I have a much better understanding of what is going on, but I don't feel like it really helped me to learn what's actually happening, why I have this versus this. And each little piece, like I don't think I could go ahead and build a macro on my own from this. Fill in the email with details. Okay, that's nice, but with email item, what's going on? So uh, let's go back to chat GPT. And this prompt here, the first two parts are the same. And then we say, I need you to explain each line of code so that I can learn how it works so that I can make my own macros in the future. Talk to it like you're talking to a person. Give it all the instructions it needs. Hey, I want to make my own code. Give me a better explanation. I don't just want comments. Then code, colon, and all the code once again. Let's submit. It'll take a moment, and there we go. Absolutely. Let's go line by line so you can fully understand this VBA macro. And look at this, I love it. It even starts at the very top with option explicit. Explanation forces you to declare all variables before using them, but it doesn't just stop there. This helps catch errors like typos in variable names and makes your code more reliable. And you could tell it, hey, I want really detailed explanations for every line, or hey, I just want a little bit for each line. But the beautiful part is that it has separated everything out. So you can just see it separately. Then we go to the next line. Okay. Defines a new macro subroutine named send email invoice PDF. This is the main block of your macro. Now, maybe I don't exactly understand what that means. Macro subroutine main block. Well, you could ask it follow up questions. Hey, could you explain this a little bit more? So we could copy it and then paste it down here. Ask anything. It's a little bit off the screen. But my point is you can ask follow-up questions. And it's a really, really great learning tool. Here it talks about the variables and line by line. How we get the PDF file path and what it's going to be even gives us a little example right here. I love this. So this is maybe my favorite thing that we can do as it relates to VBA macros and AI is we can teach ourselves what's going on. Now, I don't think it's a full replacement for the Excel VBA course because this will take so much time to do this for every macro. If you take the course, you're going to learn how to actually make your macros and then you can just type it out. You can tell ChatGPT what you want it to do, how to update it, how to change it and you don't have to worry about having any issues at all. This is a much slower way to go about things, but it allows you to very specifically learn a lot more about individual macros and what's going on there. And from what I've learned, a lot of people inherit macros from coworkers who are not very good about telling anybody else what's going on. So in that regard, this is just perfect. And here, a little summary of what the macro does. Now, I didn't ask for that, but I thought maybe I'd find it useful. So if you always want a summary, then make sure that you tell it that in the instructions, in the prompt. And I love this. Would you like me to show you how to modify this code, which is actually our very next prompt? So back in the VBA window over here, what this is going to do is to prepare an email for us, but not send it. And actually, it added that comment right here display the email to the user does not send automatically. But let's say that I want it to automatically send the email. I'm a little worried about updating the code here. I don't know what I should even put. Okay, display. That's great. But how do I have it just automatically send it? Now, all of you who took the course already know this, but it's very easy and it's amazing how easy it is, but it's not always easy for programming. So let's go to our next prompt. You're an expert. I need some help. What do I need help with? I need you to change the code so that the email will send automatically. Then I say, hey, if this is a big code change, return the full set of code so that I can copy paste it into my project. So the full macro like it did in the first example. If this, however, is a small code change, simply tell me what to change and where it's located so I can change it on my own. Sometimes we only have to change one word. Sometimes we have to rearrange all of the code, which can be kind of scary. Then code and the full macro. 
And each time I've pasted in the original uncommented one, but it's up to you what you paste in. Now let's submit. After a few moments, here we go. To make it send automatically, instead of opening Outlook for review, change this line. Display becomes send. But it also thought maybe I wanted the full set of code. So it wasn't really either or, but that's how AI works. It's not always going to listen 100%. So here is the full macro and we could copy paste it in if we wanted to, but I don't really like to do that. If it's a very tiny change, that's a very easy to make. I'm going to go ahead and do that because AI can sometimes change things that it doesn't tell you about. So we always still have to be careful. Unfortunately, it's not a complete replacement for learning VBA and macros. It's just a really good tool to use. So how would I do this? Let's copy the line to replace dot display. Control F for find. It's off the screen, but here we go. Paste in dot display. Find next. There we go. Let's make sure there's only one. So we hit find next again. There we go. No problem. Close that. Go back here and copy the code to input. And simply control V to paste it in. And you should probably now update the comment to say, we'll send email automatically. But that's it. That's all we have to do. With three simple AI prompts and ChatGPT, we are able to go from uh, this jumbled mess that's very difficult to understand and update to this beautiful macro that has been updated, commented, formatted, and explained thoroughly to us in ChatGPT. And like I said, you don't just have to use ChatGPT for this. Use whatever AI you like. But ChatGPT 4.0 works really well. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about automating workbooks, building macros and VBA like this to save yourself hours of time, definitely check out our full course on teachexcel.com. There are many thousands of satisfied customers. You guys have done some amazing stuff, honestly. When you send emails and say what you've used it for, I'm truly impressed and so happy to see that. So it's a course that's helped a lot of people. And if you want to automate your workbooks, I think it'd be pretty darn helpful for you as well. And then use ChatGPT and AI as a tool on top of your existing knowledge to turbocharge your ability to automate your workbooks. Because when AI makes a mistake, sometimes it can't actually figure out how to fix that mistake very easily. But everyone who's taken the course could go through the code and say, oh, yep, change that little thing here. Perfect. Now it works. And almost forgot, don't forget to download the files and these prompts from teachexcel.com completely free. I'll put a link to it below this video. And I believe that is it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up, and maybe share it with a coworker. That would really, really help us out. That's all for this one. See you next time.